Welcome to the channel and to today's battle report. Today's battle is going to be held on an Imperial outpost called Marxis 2 My Harlequins are going to be at the attackers, while Janus's Imperial Guard or Arsenal Militarum are going to be the defenders. For today's game we're using a mission called Scourge Earth. This mission introduces a secondary objective called Race, which I'm going to be taking. In addition to that, I'm taking First Strike and bring it down, while Janus is taking Raise the Banners High, First Strike and Assassinate. For the guard we have one single battalion uh, using the Cadian regiment. Starting from the left we have a squadron of uh, two basilisks, one of which is a tank case and has the full payload uh, ace ability. Then we have a squad of uh, special weapon, uh, a special weapon team that has uh, three demolition packs. Uh, then we have a squad of uh, three last cannons of the heavy weapon team. Then we have four squads of infantry, two of which are armed with plasmas and one has a sniper rifle in it. On the hill we can see our command, led personally by Creed himself. He's supported by two astropaths, one has the gaze of emperor. Uh, psychic power, the other has the Night Shroud. Then we have a Tempestus Prime that has the Relic giving him the ability to give another order to a unit, one which has been ordered. Then we have a Tempestus Command Squad with four Metagons. To support everything, we have a Taurox. Next to him, we have Pask himself with last cannons. Last cannon, uh, plasma cannons, and the uh, bell cannon. And lastly, we have a squadron of two demolisher rushes with last cannons. And that is exactly 1500 points. So, my war today is a troopmaster who has a Twilight Bank as his relic. And I paid one more command point to give him an extra pivotal roll, which is the Darkness Bite. And he also has a Fusion Pistol. And as his uh, war trait, I have Fractal Storm, which grants him 3 plus invulnerable save against melee attacks. And then I have my Avatar of Inyat, the Incarn, who has Unbound Souls and Gaze of Inyat for her psychic powers. Then I have two squads of five tropes. Uh, all of them are armed with fusion pistols. Then I have one embrace in each squad, two kisses, and then two normal swords. And all of them again are armed with fusion pistols. I have two star weavers in this detachment to transport my tropes and the trope master. And to finish off this patrol detachment, I have a squad of six Skyweavers, 
all armed with zipper glaives and heavy wire cannons. In my second patrol detachment I have a Shadow Seer that has Folk of Dreams and Twilight Pathways for her psychic powers. I have a second 5 man squad of troops, again all armed with fusion pistols. There are two kisses in the squad and one caress. And I have a solitaire and I paid one more command point to give her an extra relic to the suit of hidden knives. And to finish it all off, I have one more star weaver in this patrol detachment. And that is my 1484 points of soaring spite harlot wins. So this is the deployment uh, after we roll the dice who is going to start first. Uh, Basically, here you have the transport with the uh, troops, but without any heroes. You have the solitaire behind the pipes, getting a little bit of cover from all that and, uh, Imperial Guard nastiness. Then, in this transport, we of course have another squad of troops with the Warlord. Bikes are in the middle. Uh, the Shadows here is in this uh, Star Weaver. And then we have the Avatar on the very right flank of the table. Well, if we go to the Imperial Guard side, we have... I'm going to give Janos the friends to here. Yes. On the left flank, looking from my side, we have a squad of infantry and the Basilisk. And next we have Taurox, which is filled with the special weapon team with dead packs and one of the Astropaths that has the gaze of the Emperor Psychic Power. Another squad of infantry. A demolisher, Pusk and another demolisher, hidden here in between are Creed and the other Astropath with the nice Rod Psychic Warrior. Squad of Infantry, heavy weapon team with last cannons, last squad of infantry and the Basilisk on the right to finish it off. And to top it all off, when we roll the dice, who's going to get the first turn? Guess who got the first turn? It's Janus. With defenders. Yeah, that's why you get the first turn. It was a setup. It was. First of all, Janus began by moving his guards, uh, guardsman units on top of the objectives so that he can raise the banners high later on in this game. As you can see here, he moved the guardsman units on both flanks to do so. Afterwards, his demolisher Rasses moved forward to get a better line of sight towards my bikes. Again, doing so on both flanks. His Taurox moved up to the left flank, giving support to the guardsman unit, and the rest of the guardsmen just are shuffling forward a little bit to counter attack my. Harlequins. The squad of infantry is doing raise the banner and same thing for the squad over here. So two banners raised. Right. The Astropath casts Night Shroud on the Busk himself. Oh, that's mm, good. Barrels? No, that's very good for me. Uh, three will command point three yeah, that. First command point in this game. Yes. Success. Success. Right. Pass gives order to this demolisher and pound them to dust and he opens up on the bikes. Uh, that are in the middle. Yes. Okay, so the demolisher yep. is shooting uh, at the bikes. To show, he fires twice uh, because moved less than uh, half his movement. I will reroll this because of the order. That is 10, ten shots. shots. 5 to hit. 2 hits. 2 to win, both to win. Alright. Uh, 2, 4 plus. Yeah, made it. Last cannon. <laughs> Misses. Pask uh, orders himself to pound them to dust and shoots at the same target. Alright. Uh, the Battle cannon, I will reroll those shots. It's only five. 
getting on threes. Moving on to three. three. Okay, so uh, damage. Yeah. Damage. So I failed two. We have less cannons still to shoot. Not more cannons. Yeah, let let it be. So two, two failed. First one, one damage. Okay. And three. So with that, the one bike is dead. And Janus is going to continue his shooting. Yep. Pask still, eh? Yeah? Yes. Plus my cannons. Yes. With over. Yes, with our charge. Okay. So that's three shots. That's one wound for me. Two hits. Uh, that's one. And save. Uh, one save. Uh, save. And last cannon. Misses. Okay. So that's two tanks down. But we have still a lot, a lot of more shooting to be done. Okay, what do you want to do next? Uh, next. Punisher. Demolisher. Demolisher. The same target or? No. Uh, Demolisher is out of range for the bikes. Out of line of sight. Yes. He will open up on the transport. With the shuttle here intact. Yes. He will use two command points to max out his... Uh, Shots. All right. For the cannon. So. So that will be six shots. Because yep. So you minus one to hit. Yep. That's two hits. Okay. No. Wood. Something and is wrong with you. Nice cannon. Today. And miss. Something is wrong with you today. Usually you roll a lot of fives and sixes. That is a slander. Torx. Yes. You use the auto cannon on the bikes. Okay. Hits twice. Wounds twice. Okay. Four save. Uh, damage? Two per shot. Two per shot, so four damage. Four damage. Uh, so one dice. Still have, still have last cannons there. Very back. Which I don't really like. And if are in range. But if I decide to roll this, then I can save potentially save one. But is there a point? I don't think that there's that much of a point to do that. So one dies and one takes one wound, correct? No. So one, just one dies? Yeah, one takes two hits. Two okay, yeah. Two, four damage. Yes. And as I said, Janus is now checking for the last cannon. Heavy, heavy team. Uh, only one can see the bikes. Uh... Creed will order, first of all, to uh, take aim. And on a four up, he can wish similar order to no one, so it doesn't really matter. So he orders them to take aim so they can reroll their hits. Okay. Uh, or if that one die. So he hits. Uh, wounds. Saved. Saved. Uh, this basilisk shoots at the bikes. Okay. So I have four left there. Yep. So the uh, Earthshaker cannon does four shots. Uh, hits twice. Wounds once. Damage. Three. Save. And we bought them. Same target? Yes. He's in range. Yep. You're in the hole. Uh, we bought the three shots, two hits, uh, two wounds. Uh, two damage each, correct? Nope. Not yet. <laughs> so one damage. One damage. Both sides? No damage. <laughs> Okay, and the second uh, basilisk opens up also on them. You really don't like the bikes? No, I know what they do to vehicles. Heavy water goes into the transport. transport. Okay. 
So you're going to start with the... I'll do the heavy bolter first. Okay. Forget. So re-rolling once because we stood still for Arcadia. That's one hit. And that's nothing. So, for the Earthshaker into the bikes. One barrel. That's four shots. Re-rolling once. One hit once. That was not good. Okay. Pretty good. And we killed exactly nothing. They still forced a morale check here because I lost two guys and I had six. It's not going to carry the day. Who knows? So what we have here is five last gun shots into the transport. That's no hits. <laughs> Ambitious. And uh, that's it. I began my turn 1 movement by disembarking and then advancing the shadows here on top of the containers to be in range of twilight pathways that I wanted to cast on my uh, sky beavers that uh, moved shortly after. The Star Weaver that had the Trope Master inside uh, moved up a little bit forward behind this container to be uh, as obscured as possible. Uh, the other Sky, uh, Star Weaver did the same, but uh, he moved a little bit more towards the middle of the board, but again trying to be as much as possible obscured as possible. Uh, the Solitaire followed suit, uh, being absolutely uh, obscured and no one had any uh, line of sight on her. While the avatar and the third uh, star viewer moved a little bit closer to the center of the battlefield. Two small notes uh, to say here after my movement is that I used warrior acrobats on the shadows here to move up uh, there, and then after the bikes advanced, I used uh, prismatic blur on them to improve their invulnerable save to 3. Plus. So uh, I'm going to go straight to psychic phase now after the movement. There's really only one one uh, psychic, psychic power that I need to cast here, and it's well, like pathways on the bikes from the shadows here. So uh, what charge of six? Let's try to. Help. Yes, my instrument uh, will try. Yes. Yep. No. yep. So they're going to move again. Okay. Right, so the sky weavers are going to shoot uh, Commander Pask. So for the six shots. That's going to be 7, 8, 10. 10 shots. So uh, 10 shots to hit. Uh, hit you for 3s. Uh, minus 1, so on 4s. All hit. So misses. 5 hits. And then wounding you. Can hit 6s and 5s. And 4s. So that's uh, two, three more wounds. Okay, very underwhelming. <laughs> and you're down to eight, correct? Yes. Okay, so this uh, Star Weaver is going to shoot at these guys. So four shots, no minuses there. Double. I have two cannons. Yes. Three shots each. Uh, two shots each. Three. Check it. Okay, so yeah, six shots in total. Uh, hitting on trees. So, two missed. And then wounding you on trees. Two. On two, okay. And every six is uh, minus three. So, a normal one and AP minus three. Uh, five up save for the. Actually, four up. We are next to the barrier. Yes. So we actually do that, but do that. Anyway. Okay. So I'm going to repeat that with the, the other. Words. So I'm going to now shoot this Star River at this unit. So same thing, six shots. 
so to miss and now two to wounds and four wounds And now this Star River is going to shoot at the same target. It's not the same thing. Oh, that's only three, three hits. And two points. One dice. Okay. Um, that's all for my shooting. And now charges. And I'm going to charge I'm going to charge uh, your Pusk. For obvious reasons, I'm going to charge this one lonely guy. I'm going to charge him. And I'm going to charge this tank. Overwatch? Yes. Okay, so you're spending uh, two command points on uh, the Overwatch and one command point for. Uh, yeah. One command point for Overwatch, one command point for defensive gunners. Okay, so two in total. Yes, so for the Bell Gunner. That's uh, two shots. Two hits. Hit. Both wounds. I have three plus and vulnerable save. Yes. Uh, damage. Easy. I'm going to spend a common point. And I reroll it. Last cannon. Reroll. Once. Three. Nope. And the. Uh, we will overcharge the plasma cannons. Five shots. One. One hit. One wood. Up to four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Three plus. Safe. And that's. It. Yep. Okay. So. It's a nine. So I'm basically in range. So. Uh, I off-screen rolled a charge that I need 12 to, with this guy charged in this unit, but I rolled 11 and I couldn't spend a common point and it will be pointless anyway. But basically here, uh, this one bike is going to attack his commissar. It's Creed. Creed. Uh, because still a commissar. <laughs> uh, so three attacks hitting you on, uh, on trees. Uh, one missed. Uh, strength is four. So threes. Uh, both hit. That's at minus uh, minus two and damage two. Five of refractive hit. Nope. How much common points do I have that? Eight. So no. And that's first strike for me. Uh, then. This guy is obviously only in range with the uh, Pusk. So, three attacks against him. We need trees, two missed. And needing uh, sixes. No, it's a four. And then these two guys. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to play it funny. I'm going, both, uh, both guys are going to attack your... Uh... He has also four ones. I don't. I don't want him to continue giving you me minus one to hit. So six attacks against him. The mist. Trees, and that's going to be three. And uh, yeah, now you can. Blast me. <laughs> Thanks, we attack you back. Okay. So from the demolisher, no hits. And the mighty pusk. Grind it. You wish. I do. <laughs> hits twice. Okay. Top four. Wounds on twos. That's two. Save some three plus. Uh, damage? One. <laughs> I'm going to take it. One damage. Yes. 
Yes. For this squad, we good. For the other squad, also mm -hmm. good. Okay. And that concludes my turn one. I got first rank. I killed two characters. I had to take uh, assassinate. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. And we're going to go straight to Janus' turn two. Very unsuccessful turn one for Janus. He tried to uh, kill my bugs, but was unable to do so. Uh, he is leading uh, in points right now because he raised two objectives. Uh, I used this my my first turn as a setup turn for following turns, but uh, I did uh, one crucial move and that's I tied up uh, Pask and other of his tanks in close combat, so he will be unable to shoot. But as I said, he is holding uh, two objectives. He raised the banners uh, while I uh, am only contesting uh, two objectives at this point. And since that I got uh, first strike and killed more than uh, Danielos killed my units, I get uh, 8 points at the end of my turn, just for that. At the start of Janos' phase, he raised uh, previous turn 2 banners. He holds more than me. No, I'm holding, holding two, objectives. 2 objectives. And that brings you up to... 10 for the primary and 2 for the secondary. So that's uh, 12 to 8 right now. Janos obviously decided to leave the combat with my Skyweavers, with his Ross and, uh, and uh, Pusk. And this is the point where he fell on my Elder Trap and I am proud to say I use Elder Sneakery here. So, since Janos just moved back from the combat with Pusk and the uh, the tank, I'm going to use Sigurd chest to shoot the uh, bikers at uh, the tank. He was the one, the last one that was from the combat. So I have four bikes, so they're all sitting there. So that's 12, 14, and 17. Okay, so 17 shots in trees. Four misses, and now needing four strikes and sixes. So that's going to be 5 wounds, 1 uh, d3 and uh, normal save. So the save, save, yes. but d3, 3, down to 4. Okay, so now I'm going to stop being a dick and allow it to finish your movement. Okay, very fast. After that encounter was resolved, Janos continued with his movement by moving back with his guardsmen that were raising have risen the flag in previous turn. On the far right from Janos' side, the guardsmen moved closer to the brethren to uh, counterattack the solitaire, while on the far left from Janos' side, the guardsmen are moving towards the objective and the approaching threat of the avatar and the star weaver. Uh, same thing with the taurox, he moved forward to counter uh, the movement and the most Interesting part here are that the Tempestus Prime with his Tempestus Science with Melted uh, deep strike uh, in my deployment zone behind the Avatar, having the perfectest uh, line of sight uh, towards the uh, Avatar, and that's a big threat. Okay, so movement for the Imperial Guard is done. Now Janus is going straight to the shooting phase. Yes, we will start with our uh, Tempestus Scions. Who just came down here. Yeah, uh, the Tempestus Prime will give them the order elimination protocol section. Okay, what does that do? That gives them a reroll against vehicles or monsters. And uh, on a 4 up he can give them another order. Yes, can. and he will give them the order of take aim, so to reroll once to hit. Okay. So, four metagons into your avatar. We hit. Okay. Reroll. Two wounds. Two wounds. So, two for plus. Saved. Thank god. So, 
This infantry squad over here opens up on the bikes. Okay, I'm still 3 plus invulnerable save from oh. the last uh, Sniper rifle? Yes. Misses. Very good sniper. So, hitting on fives, rerolling ones. Top is four. Five. That's uh, five of them. Okay. So, trees. Say it all. Okay, bikes are still still breathing, but I fear not for long. Okay, take from yeah. this squad. So again at the bikes. I will spend one command point for grenadiers. Uh, five of them are in range. We'll throw frag grenades, rest will shoot with their less rifles. Okay. So grenade first. Yep. It's going to be <laughs> scary. That's for two wounds, correct? No, that's to hit okay. first. Also minus, correct? Yes. Hit really well. Now we're using fives? Fives. So another five. Okay, I already had the dice prepared. Trees. And that's damage one. Yep. So one guy is one wound left. And we will let them change the fire on them. Pask will order our demolisher here. Okay. To do what? I don't know, wait, you know what? Kind of shenanigans, okay. so are you planning now? Uh, the infantry squad from back here shoots. Five of them are within rapid fire range. Rest of two are not. Okay. So I want to bring the, down the one single wounded bike. Yes, before I shoot multi damage. <laughs> so that's uh, mighty four hits because of the best one. Yes. Yep. And that's two saves. Three plus? No. Come on. Not today. Today is not the day. Hey, man, fuck you. Take this uh, basilisk heavy boulder into the bikes and the uh, cannon. The star reaver. The star reaver. Okay. So first of all, what? Heavy boulder. Okay. So it hits twice. Both wound. Three plus. Uh, on the bikes, correct? Yeah. Okay, so one guy is dead. I'm going to remove it. Oh. That guy is dead. Thank you. Scanon does three shots. And no. Three rolling ones. Still not. Still not. Fabulous. Pass we order count them to dust on this tank. Okay. And it will open up on the bikes. And they order dust what? We roll the amount of shots with the demolisher cannon. Okay. We roll this one. So we get eight shots in. Two. <laughs> Two plus. Save. Nice cannon. Hits. Hits. Wounds. Uh, then, uh, wait, 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 wait. Nice cannon from the tank, correct? Yes. Uh, command point, bring me down to two. Saved. Yes, I will use the command point okay. to give plus one to hit and to wound on the heavy team. Heavy team, meaning they will, in total, hit on threes. Okay. After all the shenanigans, <laughs> all the minuses and pluses that go back and forth here. So right threes now. to hit. Yes. Hit. Both wound. Command to plus. Uh, one save and second one also save. <laughs> that isn't the mighty three plus. This is the first game that I use this strategy among my units, so it pays off. Pays off big time. And it's the first time I see Yano so shaken and, and stirred at the same time. All those in one of us made makes the shooting kind of pointless. 
Okay, okay, let's see what we have to do. Do you want me to leave you with the thoughts? No, no, no. Not over much I can do. Basilisk, so, uh, Basilisk opens up on the bikes. Okay, same thing. Yeah. With everything. Uh, with everything. Okay. For the cannon, it's four shots. We're rolling one, two, two hits. Both wounds. Uh, one killed. Damage. <laughs> two left. Or you want to uh, come on point that? Yes. <laughs> Might as use those command points while well, we still have them. Uh, two damage. Uh, so one wound remaining on one guy. Um, Harry Potter does not hit. Okay. And we literally out of shots. Yeah. And killed nothing. We made. Oh, right. No, we did two wounds. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take two wounds. So. On this guy. To the right. <laughs> Uh, anything else with shooting? Yeah. I wish they have a few things. Uh, the... Tarox. Tarox opens up on the bikes. Okay. Very keen to bring it out. Yeah. Nope, does not move. And the last infantry squad opens up on the transport. Uh, this infantry squad, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'm shooting. Let me try to murder this thing. Okay, fine, we shoot that uh, bike squad. Might okay. actually work out. Result in something. <laughs> Two hits. One, One wound. Come on. Yeah, no, save. Overcharge plus one. Hits. hits. Wounds. Ah, oh, that's the fail. Yeah, yeah one guy. <laughs> No, we are literally out of shots. Imperial Guard, Guard is out of shots. Yeah. Combat? Charges? Okay, so Janos, after a couple minutes of thinking, just tell me your thought process. Why didn't you want to charge? Right now, the bikes are out of coherency. So there will be a coherency test necessary, meaning one of them will automatically die. So this guy dies. If I would have charged, it would have given you a pile in uh, move, and then you could have been in coherency, and then I would have had to kill both of them. And my infantry squads doing anything in melee against those bikes is uh, bleeding at best. So you decided to just automatically kill one of them yep. without doing anything. A lot more effective than my shooting has been <laughs> up to this point. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's going to be my turn too. And at the start of my uh, turn, I score five points for this, holding this objective, and five points holding this objective that brings me down bring me 10 uh, in addition. This was the crucial moment where I knew that I had to be very aggressive and very fast, so I have moved all of my star beavers as close as possible to Janus's tanks to be in range with my fusion pistols uh, that were inside the star beavers. So, uh, that was a massive uh, threat to Janus at this point. The Solitaire used Blitz here and moved up towards both of the Guardsman units uh, ready to charge them. The Avatar is now aiming uh, her uh, blades against the Tempest Signs who tried to shoot her down and she didn't like it. Uh, the Shadows here just for fun moved up even higher the containers and has a perfect view of the battlefield to try and cast smite against some of the guards unit. So, uh, one thing to point out here is that this transport for him I used uh, warrior acrobats and he moved uh, 6 automatically for his advance. That's why he is so close to the enemy lines. But that was my movement and we're going straight to Psychic now. So, I'm going to start with the Avatar, I'm going to start with Case of the Inuit, 
on this uh, squad of uh, Melta, Melta, uh, however they called, on these guys. The first to stay on. Okay, so on them. Uh, so Wolf Charge of six, again, success. No, uh, no the name. No. Okay, so now I'm rolling a one this D, uh, and that's going to be three D three mortal wounds. Um, that should be three mortal wounds. And now I'm going to smite. A success. Yep. <laughs> That's from from her. And now we're going to go. Oh no! Wait. Uh, yeah. And now we're going to go to the shadows here, who is also going to smite. And I'm in range of this squad of uh, guardsmen, so uh, smiting there. Uh, that's a success. Are you going to try and deny that? It's a five. Can't deny. Okay. And the three. Uh, one more to wound. That's that's that was it for the psychic phase. So let's go to this this uh, part of the table where the one lonely bike is going to shoot at the four wound remaining uh, tank. So these six shots. It's one shot. <laughs> I'm not going to roll that. Uh, three plus. No. No. First time, okay. And uh, now, hmm, I have to take layers at the same time because they're in box, correct? No, the vehicle you can declare it shots after or before the crew inside. Should okay, you? then all the crew inside here, all the fusion pistols are going to pass okay. because that's that's a given. So there's five guys inside, so uh, needing trees. Okay, so one to hit. And needing force, of course. Bolt, wound. Roll the damage. Uh, not help range, so four. And you had eight left, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you measure is, the, uh, is this tank uh, within six as well? I think it should be. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, then all the guys inside here is, are also shooting there. So first of all, the troops hitting on trees. One missed. Uh, now wounding on fours. Uh, only two. And damage uh, five. Load. Five. No. Okay, uh, now, so since I declared that the troop master should be there, he can't shoot. No, no, no. You do it. One after the unit. units, separate things. So. Okay, then the troop master shooting at this tank. Oh. Two plus. Hits. Wounds. And damage. Well, um, I'm going to spend one command point, bring me down to one. Roll this result. And that's a five. That's going to be enough. Okay. Uh, now the shuriken cannons from this transport are going to shoot. Actually, no. Uh, the guys inside here are going to shoot at your basilisk. So again, five guys. Needing uh, trees. So we need to hit and force again, right? Uh, trees. Trees. <laughs> Double one. And then the shuriken cannons. So these shuriken cannons are going to shoot at the heavy team. So uh, six shots. So I need to hit and needing two. two. two sixes, so no. Perhaps. Yes. One six. Uh, three damage is correct. Hmm? They are three damage is correct. Two wounds. Two wounds. Okay. Uh, then, well, this one's going to shoot here because the other one can't. Okay, so three hits. And two, uh, two normal ones and one minus three. Okay, and no more shooting from. Why can't that one shoot? Uh, because it's advanced. Yeah, but you can get it. Oh yeah. So it's 
Yeah, then. Then again, at the heavy. Correct. So, don't miss it. Trinist. And then you can get twos. Uh, one at minus three and two normal ones. The one, last one. So, that dies. And that's it for the shooting for me, for my part. And now it's going to be charges. And I'm going to start out the charge with the uh, solitaire charging. Well, does it really matter? I'm going to charge her. Yeah, I'm going to charge uh, this squad, Carsman. She's in because I can. Oh, uh, maybe. That's uh, it. So I can move closer to your basilisk. Uh, then this uh, transport is going to charge your basilisk. He's also in. I'm going to move this part. Uh, then the bike is going to charge this garrison squad. Also in. Mm -hmm. And this uh, bike is going to charge this tank, the transport. Yeah. Uh, six. Can you measure that, please? And then this bike is also charging this Parchment Squad. It's a tree. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to cheat here. Yeah. No. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, he's still embarked. And the last uh, charge is going to be the Avatar, who is going to charge your... your... Uh, champion. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. no. Uh, I have one last command point here. Actually, I could have just jumped the avatar on the your the side of the table. But there's... Oh, you will get the <laughs> uh, I'm going to spend one command point, the last remaining one, to roll this. And that's a 10. So, she's in. I'm going to start the combat uh, with the avatar, so 6 attack with her sword, hitting on 2s, uh, 1 missed, uh, wounding on 2s, I guess, <laughs> rolling to wound, no need, and that's going to be 5 wounds. Yes. Yes. He's dead. <laughs> Very dead. <laughs> Munched. And uh, now we're going to jump back here, and I would like to attack with first with my bike at your guardsman, so 3 attacks. Increase, two missed, uh, strength four, three, and that's a wound at minus two, damage two. Now the soldier is going to attack, since she blitzed, it's going to be ten attacks, I'm going to attack with caress. It's minus two IP and uh, damage one. Ten attacks, hitting on twos, every single one hits, wounding you on threes, strength five. Uh, one, four, six, seven. Seven at minus two. Exactly. And now with the with the transports. And uh, now the uh, star weaver transport basically. At the guards, three attacks. You can trees. So two miss. Strength 5, uh, that's one save. No AP. And then the second transport at your tank. Uh, again, one hit and one wound. Six. Saved. Saved. Okay. And that's it for my combat. Oh no, this, this transport at Basilisk. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. So uh, that's that's you can <laughs> tag back. Basilisk into the transport. Yes. Nothing. 
tank into the transport. Hits once. Wounds. Okay. Uh, four plus. See. into the bike, we hit once, we do nothing and into the transport, we hit once, no nope. that's it, that's it. No. and that was my turn too uh, I don't score any objectives here bring it down oh yeah, so that's a thing and that's bringing down was five points for since I uh, killed two transports there, it got me bring it down. So uh, two each, so four in total. Wow, what a turn it was! Janos uh, still can't kill uh, my units sufficiently. I'm still keeping making all of my invulnerable saves. Uh, I uh, I am causing a massive pressure here. I killed his Pusk, I killed one of his Rosses, I killed the Tempest of Science. Uh, this Solitaire is uh, wreaking havoc. Uh, the Avatar uh, secured uh, my uh, side of the table by killing the Science, as I said previously, and the Solitaire killing of one of the Guards units is a, is a good sign. So at the beginning of Yanis's turn, he scores this objective, that one, and that one in the middle of the right side of the table, which brings him down, uh, brings him up to 15 more plus two, so 17 in total. Now finally, Yanis uh, decided to disembark his uh, special weapon team from the Taurox and to move them in cover to have a line of sight towards the shadows here that uh, is standing on top of the crates. Uh, his Psycar did the same thing, uh, having a perfect line of sight and being in range to smite the shadows here. Uh, the Taurox uh, decided to move as far as possible towards my deployment zone, potentially to be able to contest objectives in the following turns, while on the far right side from Yannis' perspective his guardsmen uh, decided to leave the combat with the Star, star Weaver and Sky Weaver, and his Ross uh, did the exact same thing. So, uh, your movement is done now, you want to try and smite my uh, Shadow Shield, correct? Yes, okay. the master. <laughs> it is a success. Okay. Uh, I can deny it, or? Yes. I can. Yeah. What Okay. Uh, I need more than six, correct? Yes. Or two dice. Yes. Okay. Ah, you didn't forget anymore. Yes. That is one more trouble. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go into the shooting. First yes. off, grenadiers onto the special weapon squad and they will throw their dead backs at and frag grenades at the very pretty and sexy shadow ship. Yes. See, even the Imperial Guards agree that she's pretty and sexy. So stop. Yeah, so stop hating on Gulliman. Okay, so they're uh, throwing their grenades at the shadow ship. Yes. Uh, the demolition charges are in range, so that's. Yes, that's quite a few shots. <laughs> you like that? Yes, I'm retribution. <laughs> Uh, minus one wound. Yeah, let's first hit. So then needing threes. Yes. Six. So that's six saves. Yes. Then minus three. Six minus three. So <laughs> four plus and one six. Uh, no, <laughs> she's dead. She is dead. And you didn't have assassinate or you did? Yes, I did. Okay, that's, 
That was your sneaky plan. Yes. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Since she died, uh, I can just. Boop! The avatar on top. Yeah. Because not much shooting from your. Uh, yeah, I'm not that scared again against the basil basilisk. But they can shoot, correct? Yes. But they can shoot. You know what? No. <laughs> Let's keep her safe and sound down there. <laughs> Protect her lines. Uh, okay, what's next with your shooting? Uh, basilisk shoots at the transport. Uh, he can shoot if he's in combat, correct? Yeah, with the heavy bolt on. Yep. So, oh, he's rerolling once, but no. Toughness uh, 5. 5 or yeah. 6. Or 6. Yeah. Oh, 1 for plus. See. Minus 1. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in 1 plus. <laughs> okay, these guards are now shooting at that sky river, correct? Yep. So, last gun shots rerolling because this is still 1 hit. Nothing. Okay, that's my gun. Yes, power charging? Yep. Okay, so roll a one. Nope. Yeah. This is. And that squad opens up everything into the same okay. target. Okay, that's not. Yes, I will try. No hits. Gunshots. I did only once. Five senses. Yep. And I see a lot of them. Yeah, but they said the last gun. That's one. One save. For one save. Okay. Four plus. Let me fail it. <laughs> I do. Then we have the basilisk. The only one left, correct? Yep. Basilisk shoots at the same target. Okay. So, you shake your cannon. That's six shots. Three hits. Yes. The two wounds. Wait, uh, you know what? We will actually command point to roll this one. Okay. That's three. Okay, three, four plus. Yep. I think I, <laughs> I don't know, one. Three damage. Three damage, so down to four, okay? I think he has five or six wounds, so. Yeah, so, anyways. Two left. Uh, heavy bolter hits once. Four. Uh, fail. So, one left. One left. Hmm. One wound remaining. So here Janus decided to charge the one <laughs> wound remaining uh, Star Weaver. Yes, my mighty infantry squad is trying to show it's worth. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> Better. And now the guys are going to strike the the flying transport Star Weaver. Yeah. Sky Weaver. All the, in the mix up. Another good. Ah, oh, that's one. Two bits failed. I do. And I don't think that I explode. So, the guys inside just going to jump out. I have five, so I have to roll five this. Okay, so. One dice. But, yeah, whatever. No, actually, he can explode, so. No, but he doesn't. So, uh, still one guy's dice. That was the end of turn 3 for Imperial Guard. And it's going to be turn, turn 4. No, it's going to turn 3 for me now. Let's see what I can do here. This is a turn where all of my troops are going to disembark from the last two remaining Star Weavers so they, that the Star Weavers are free to roam the board and grab objectives. As you can see here, this Star Weaver is going to grab the middle objective the tropes from the destroyed star weaver are going to jump across uh, to the left side and uh, opening up for room to disembarkation from the uh, second uh, star weaver after disembarking the trope master and the tropes the star weaver is going to jump back to my deployment zone to grab uh, that objective while the trope master is going to support the disembarked tropes uh, to shoot down the last remaining cross the avatar is contesting the objective, the soldier trying to kill the last remaining guard unit, and the star uh, sky weaver is going to help out with the shooting. Yeah. Okay, uh, so that's the movement. So now I'm going to start with the second phase. I'm going to up with the gaze of Iniat at the Taurox. So uh, needing a six, 
it's a six exactly. What a French or? In range. In range, okay. So I'm gonna try to deny. Nope. Okay. Uh, so I need a six here. Is this six uh, more to wounds? <laughs> I have no more uh, no more common points. Uh, and I'm going to now smite the tower rocks. It's a five, smite. The three, it's a one. Okay. Uh, now shooting. This uh, star we were going to shoot the tower rocks. So six shots there. Please. Uh, toughness. Uh, so. Fives, uh, so that's one. Ah, uh, seven five. Yeah. Okay, so down to seven. Now we're going to go here, uh, and I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot six, uh, five. Sorry, uh, fusion pistols at your basilisk. So it's one missed, and needing fours. Trees. Trees. Uh, so that's going to be three. Uh, 10. Okay, so he has one wound there. Now we're going to go to this shooting and I'm going to open up with the uh, bike shooting at your... No, let's start off with the uh, trope masters. Uh, trope. So three guys that are in half range. Uh, one missed. Uh, trees. Four. Uh, that's one. So... Uh, six and then the three that are not in range no, two uh, one hits one wounds and that's two down to how much? four, four. Uh, now the troop master is going to shoot his fusion pistol so he hits he wounds six they explode with that Okay, so that's gone. Now the uh, the bike is going to shoot your uh, front uh, garden. So D6 shots, so five shots. Uh, trees, all hit. Uh, string four, so uh, trees. So that's four. Oh, sorry, yeah, so that's two. Doesn't matter. No, it does. They would be in cover. Oh, yeah. But I do want to take the guys in front, so it's without cover. Okay, and uh, now the fusion pistols from the tropes are going to shoot them. I think there it doesn't matter who is half French, who is not. So, two missed. One wounds. One dies. And... Uh, and uh, now, this uh, Star Weaver is going to shoot your one wounded basilisk. Mm -hmm. So, uh, six shots, trees, and string five. String six and six. So, fives. Have to fail one. I need to. No command on that. There is explode. Doesn't. Okay. And now charges. Uh, solitaire charging your uh, guardsman. How much? She's in. Uh, she's goes. That doesn't matter really. And uh, troop charging the same target. Uh, that's a seven. Uh, I think that's sin, but keep the dice here. Okay, so one of them. Uh, now here, uh, the bike charging. Uh, that's an eight. Uh, the troop master is now going to charge there. He is in. Now the troop uh, with, that was with the troop master, they are in. And now the back troop. 
Uh, they're not playing. So let's start with this combat. Uh, the Solitaire is going to attack with her 8 attacks. Can you pass me 2 more dice? Thank you. So, uh, hitting here on 2s. Uh, all hits. Uh, hitting with Caress again, so strength 5. So, um, basically I can't hit with the tropes, or... Yeah, so uh, four attacks from the kiss. So, one missed. Uh, so, uh, strength four here. No. So they're still alive there. Uh, the bike at the no, the troop master first of all. It's turn number three. Okay, so the troop master with his eight attacks thanks to Twilight Tank uh, hitting on twos and wounding you on trees. Roll the wounds. So that's. Four six. Yep. One bridge left. Okay, so I'm going to pile into him. So, three guys there. Uh, so, first of all, the kiss. So, uh, kisses. Uh, that's uh, two. And that's it. No more guys there? Nope. Okay, and uh, that's then just leadership. This one. Oh yeah, because, because why not? Yes, cap. Add the tree. Six. Okay, you can die. <laughs> to actually die. Okay, so now leadership. Combat attrition tests. He stays there. Okay. Very good for him. Uh, for the leaders. Uh, leadership 8. That's 2. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And then that's going to be your turn number 4. A very successful turn for me. I managed to kill off all less of the Rosses. The left side of the board is almost fully uh, contested by me. Uh, Janos is trying to deny me some objectives here, but we'll see how it goes. Janos moved up his towers even forward towards my deployment zone to contest that objective, while his special weapon team is moving towards my uh, avatar to prevent me from holding uh, the objective and once again contesting it. The Psyker moved up towards the troops uh, trope to try and cast a sneaky psychic power there while the guardsmen are moving uh, again behind uh, towards his uh, objective marker to try and prevent me from grabbing it. Okay, after that movement now it's going to be psychic. My very master path is yes. trying to do his gaze of the emperor which is a success. I can deny that, so I'm out of range. So, the range is 2d6, 8 is enough to get all of these stroke messers that are there. Yep, it's true. On a single line, so 4 up, one more to wound. That's one of the wounds. So, one dice? One dice. 
Well, still in coherence, yeah? Yeah. Yep. So, sword twice. Okay. So, the squad. Uh, We're going to shoot at them. This is everything in the squads. Yes. Uh, one guy throws a grenade. Okay. Yeah. So, that's. Uh, Five. Five. Yep. Two hits. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Sergeant. Four guys with last gun. That's three saves. Or plus. Or to die. And plus one. One correct? Yep. Okay. It does not overcharge. Hits, wounds, twice, twice. Yeah. Uh, that's squad gone. Thank you. Uh, sorry, the grains here were damage three from these guys. D3. D3. Uh, it was one shot. Okay, I <laughs> again. I did to contest the objective. Okay. I wanted to I was prepared to jump from there. <laughs> the that one's pistol. Yeah. In, in your face. In the trope. No. Nope. Nope. And then we have Tarks. Tarks, you have Basilisk and this Tarks means a Tarks is shooting. The Sour Weaver. Have these taken any damage now? No. 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 He's used at the Sour Weaver in front of him. Okay. Minus one. Uh, that's one. That's two. one. Two okay. damage. Okay. Four left. So the buzzer is shooting. Yes. Uh, have you bolt into the troop? Okay. And the air shaker into the Star Reaver. Star Reaver. Okay, fine. So you're spending two command points. Robert let me use a fire. So that will, I will not have minus one to hit them. Sorry. Okay. Yes. So air shaker. Yes. Six shots. Four. Zero okay. ones. Because of Kadia. Two. And two, yeah. I need, I need. Okay, I will use my use my last command. Okay, you roll this one. No. So two focus. Safe one. Three damage. Three damage. Yeah. Okay, so one wound remaining there. And the heavy bolter. Two hits. That's one wound. I know. I can't overwatch. Running speed. Make attacks. Nothing. And now I'm going to attack back. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, my turn. Uh, no, you just one close combat. You get to hit first. Oh yeah, troop. Yeah. Uh, can I pal in there? It's going to be first of all the kiss. Hits and that's <laughs> dead. Okay, yeah, that's it. that's it. Okay, so my turn. Uh, yep. And I hold those two objectives on the backfield, yep. and this one's contested. That one's contested. Yep. So we can. Okay. So my movement, I advance with the bike to shoot the passive disc. Those guys uh, fell to their advance to, sh to roll off the dash row to move them to the basilisk, so they moved there. The avatar moved to the avatar, the trope, and the star weaver move up to clean up the uh, Taurox. So, uh, psychic phase smite from the avatar onto the Taurox. Success. D3, it's a 1. And now the, uh, the case of Iniat. 
It's a success on a six. Uh, it's, I'm going to roll with my one command point. Why? You don't re roll these things anymore with the command reroll. Okay, so it's one mortal wound. Uh, so that's done with the psychic phase. Now, shooting, and since this is the last turn, we're going to rush it. Uh, six shots from the Star Weaver, and it moved away from the combat. So, strength five, six, six, six. Six. Uh, that's one. one, minus three. Six, two, six. Okay. A second shot, the same thing. And sixes, nope. And one for wounds. And now three fusion. That's from here. We're all on six. Then six. So one wounds. Uh, one wounds, yeah. yeah. And wounds? it was already about damage. And you don't explode. So he's gone. And just for fun of it, uh, the bike, uh, the basilisk uh, hits. Uh, three, three, yeah. Three. One hits, enough. So, uh, that's game? Yep. Yep. Ah, I can try and kill the guardsman here. Doesn't really matter, but. Dead. Four. And the trope master is going to shoot your astropath. Uh, hits. And dead. Uh, How much damage? Four. Five. And then, of course, I'm going to charge them and kill them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to tally up our points. Basically, there should be one more turn, but since we're in a rush. I'm going to postpone it. But what would happen is I would go with drop on this objective. But the solitaire is already there. Charge the basilisk to prevent him from attacking. These guys will stay alive. And yeah, basically. No, you probably throw the other and those guys. Well, six. I would be out of range. In next turn. Oh yeah, still. So we're going to tell up our points and then make our conclusion to this battle. So guys, that was the game. A uh, very quick one at that. And what what are your thoughts? Well, four hours isn't a good game. <laughs> for uh, once. For once, yeah. Uh, well, God did not succeed. Uh, In protect, protecting that planet. Yes. During the first two turns, which were critical to stop you from getting over to me and uh, doing your dirty Hulkin things, uh, I just couldn't get any damage in, and that sort of sealed the deal. And from that on, I was trying to go more for the objectives to grab something, mm. but that uh, didn't help too much. So the score in the end was uh, 40, 48 for me. 48 for you. And 30. 38 for me. Yeah, so 10 points more for me. But still, 10 points, it's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, and I lost quite a bit of points simply because I couldn't get the uh, first strike. Yeah. Uh, well, it all comes down to the fact that I just couldn't get anything mm -hmm. off the table during the first two turns a yeah. couple of fights <laughs> which just wasn't enough yeah on my part I, uh, I really got scared when you got the first turn with the roll off I thought that that's going to be the end of me because of all of your last cannon shots but thank god the you guys got didn't yeah. smile it's towards you this time. Last cannon shots. You had 16 melta guns. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're talking about my yeah, last cannons. But, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Six of them, exactly. <laughs> so, who has the more Imperial Guard potential, my Yanari or your Imperial Guard? Well, clearly, you were more, you were more yeah. effective. 
But still, um, when you go the first turn, I got scared. But I, thank God, I managed to pass the majority of my invulnerable saves. And the two plus invulnerable saves, uh, invulnerable save upgrade on the bike was a massive help. So I was rolling trees there. Yes. Yeah. If if it wasn't for that, that the bikes would be gone uh, even quicker. Still, uh, I'm kind of sad that my avatar didn't do that much this game, but she just protected that corner of the table, and you still uh, you invested your melta. Uh, Melter guys? Yes, another show of making a zero dent in an invulnerable set. <laughs> and yeah, um, I knew that since uh, you were ahead in points in the after the second turn, so you started scoring the objectives, I had to push a little more against you, and then I realized that I'm behind with points. So I just moved back with, uh, with the transport and started to take uh, objectives here and there, but I could have done that uh, uh, a little bit earlier in the game and I just, as always, I don't think about <laughs> the objectives at all when playing 40k, which I should think. Well, yes and no. Uh, you did tie up a lot of my things with those transports, so yeah. at the end I wouldn't say it was a, a waste decision. Yeah, I try to deny you shooting as much as possible. Not that it mattered. All in all, it was a fun game. I hope, at least for me. <laughs> it was hard. It was hard. <laughs> for me. But as we spoke with Janos, uh, we play against each other for a very long time now, for years. And I only won like three, maximum four games against him. <laughs> and this was the fourth or third one that I won. So. That speaks a lot about Janos and his luck in dice, but not today. <laughs> today the luck was on my side. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Sorry, then the uh, ending was a little bit rushed. We were uh, uh, we didn't have that much time. We had to clean up the table for the other <laughs> players now. But I hope you liked it. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Think about uh, tell us about what you thought about the game, and I catch you in the next one. Just bits. Bye.